notes at the beginning. Where does water really come from? Water was formed and emerged for the first time from between the cement-like dust and the remnant star core, which is more rigid than steel, the pulsar. Meaning that the dust grains that float through the solar system contain tiny pockets of water, and water has been found trapped inside real stardust. Scientists believe that this stardust rained down continuously on young planet Earth and brought with it the organic material needed for the eventual origins of life. The discovery of water in stardust suggests that the continuous stardust falls have acted as a continuous rainfall which brought water to our molten planet. In the Quranic chapter called al Tarek or the Pulsar, God swears by the star which punches holes that we are made from the showers of water, the water which emerged from between kinds of cement like dust and steel. The Holy Quran says by the heaven and by the pulsar, and have you understood what the pulsar is? It is the star which punches holes. There is not a soul that does not have a guardian over it, so man must consider from what he has been created. It was created from the water ejected, that is emerging from between the steel and cement-like dust. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. The same topic again, we are, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I really I cannot believe how the lies sometimes can be kind of amazing. Uh, the Holy Quran, guys, says that he created us from steel and cement. And the Holy Quran says uh, that we are created from rain. But just a second ago, we were playing the video. She was saying we are created from semen. So now we are created from semen or from rain. She is saying that scientists prove that uh, you know there is uh, the rain. Let me let me let me go a little bit back, so you can listen a little bit from the beginning. I mean, this is amazing how they mix things up together and make the stupidity of the Quran pure science. Listen carefully. Published this information along with an image of the pulsar on their website on July the 23rd, 2015. In the form of stardust, supernova scatter the elements. Punish holes. Did you see the word punish hole? They want to say to you that the punish holes is what the Quran is saying. Is that true? If we go right now and read the, 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 the translation of the words, which is a tariq. A tariq is a star which is supposedly the visitor star. It is not about holes. Let us see what the Quran says. I will go right now. This is the same chapter we are reading just a few minutes ago. All right. <clears throat> Let us go. And as usual, I will show you the Muslim translation. Let us see if we can find the holes there and the punish holes. Because if nobody is making such a statement, it's mean this is something new. The Muslim, they change and they upgrade the translation based in the occasion. Chapter 86, verse number 1. A tariq Actually, this is the name of the chapter. Let us see the translation of Yusuf Ali. I will show you one by one. Please don't forget to share the video with your friends and invite them because we have a very few people coming. I don't know why. Maybe because it's for free, right? Hmm. You see, the, the, by the sky and the night visitant what hole and what punishing holes now we continue it is a star of a person bright and we will explain to thee what is the night so it is the star of a person bright what so what they talk about in the video is not exist the translation here they try to present to us about this verse is not even exist let us go here all right you see the word punching holes? Where is the holes? And where is the word pulsar? It is a star with punching holes? Okay, let us see the punching holes here is coming. Hmm. Uh, let us continue. Oh, by the way, I don't approve any Muslim translation, but I'm just using the Muslim translation so we can love together. This is the whole point. Uh, there is no soul, but it is protected, etc. And then he says, in the same chapter we just showed you before, he is created from a drop emitted, proceeding from the backbone and the ribs. Look what the Muslim translate in their video. Proceeding from the backbone and the ribs became what? Let us see. Read with me carefully. 
is created from the water ejected that is emerging from between the steel and cement-like dust. The backbone and the ribs of the women became steel like dust. People, are you, are you my witness? Let me make this image big. The backbone in the Quran, by the miracle of Allah, the translation changed from backbone and ribs of the women to become, in a miraculous way, steel and dust. I mean, isn't it amazing? Where we can find the word steel and where we can find the word dust in that chapter, because this is supposedly chapter 86, verse number 8. The Quran says steel and cement. The Quran says that. Are you sure? We can go and read all the Muslims translation. We will not find one of them saying that. And that is giving you additional proof that Islam is a false religion because they adopt, they change the meaning of the verse, depend in what they are trying to convince you with. They change even the translation of the verse, depend in what they are trying to say to you. So now it's a steel, tomorrow is going to be plastic, the day after is going to be silicon, the day after is going to be a condom, the day after is going to be uh, maybe a, a Mercedes Benz. Why we cannot find one Muslim translation agree with them? Can we find one Muslim translation says it is a steel and cement? Let us see that. We are going to examine this. You know, we will not stop here and say my opinion. No way. I am a person who show you what Muslims believe and how they translate this verse. So we will go to chapter 86, verse number 8. All right. I don't want to now to go to the, the, the tafsir yet. Let us see the translation. Let us go. <clears throat> Uh, let us go to the Quran. All right. Chapter 86. All right. This is verse number one. Let us go to verse number eight, the one we are talking about, the one it says supposedly steel. Let us see if the steel there exists in any translation. Any. If the word cement is exist from any translation, any, I, I will be happy to see it coming. All right. So we don't see the translation of cement there. This is verse number eight. Did anyone see cement? Anyone see? Uh, well, let us go to verse number seven. Maybe it's seven. Let us see in verse number seven. All right. Issuing from between the backbone and the ribs. I mean, anyone see here the word cement and steel? Anyone see it? No. Backbone and the ribs, the breast bones. Okay. Until now, we don't see the steel. So where they come with this translation that this verse, this is all the Muslim translation exists. All are made by Muslim. Not even a single one of them is made by a Christian. Yusuf Ali, Khan, whatever this guy, his name, Talal Itani, Sahih Intel, Biktal, Muhammad Shakir, Muhammad Sarwar, uh, Mawdoudi, uh, Hilali and Khan, uh, Daria Abadi, uh, Korops, Arbari, uh, Ahmad Khan, Ali, Ahmad Ali, I mean you name it, all of them, none of them come in any way, uh, even in close, to say to us that there is a cement and a steel involved. So where the Muslims got this word from? Be a brave Muslim and tell me where the Muslim they got this from. He was created from water ejected that is emerging from between the steel and the cement. You see guys, the word here ejected is coming about somebody having sex. Suddenly we are the rain is coming from the galaxies. Suddenly. Suddenly because Allah he swears supposedly by the star so now we have to connect but the God of Islam always swear by something in the beginning by the star Allah actually here here Najm uh, al-Tariq uh, Muhammad he think that the stars they come down and this is a, a star come at night this is like a, the, the, the 
the meteor. He think this is a visiting star. So he swear by this, by that star, and then he continues speaking about how you are created. So the man considered from what has been created. He is a cre he was a created from water ejected that is emerging from between the steel and the cement. How far the deception can go? Now let us see. Maybe guys, maybe we are getting it wrong. Maybe all the Muslim translation is false. So let us investigate a little bit more. Maybe we can find this exist in the interpretation of the Muslims. Let us go and check what the Muslims give interpretation for it. If we can find one Muslim interpretation, agree with those guys, maybe they are right. So now we will go and we will read the interpretation. All right? All right. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Chapter 86. We already mentioned it to you actually, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. We go from verse number one. The one is speaking about the star the star. Allah swear by the heaven what he has placed in it, uh, the radiant star. He says, By the heaven and a tariq. Wama adraka tariq. Do you know what a tariq? Okay, explain to us what a tariq. Qutada and other have said that the star had been tariq because it's the only one seen at night. Based in their false fictions, they speak about a kind of uh, uh, like particles is exist in the in the uh, 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 in the sky, and those particles are made from steel and water, and they merge together. Blah 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 blah. blah just to make you confuse more, and then they come to the conclusion that this is supposedly what is going to come as rain. As we see here, it's just a normal the star appear at night. The Arab call him, or Muhammad is calling him at least, uh, 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 the Persian star. It is why Persian because simply it's bright. It is a bright star. It's something you can see. But this star is visiting star, and let us see that. A thaqib the illuminating. He is very bright. You know, he is very uh, 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 bright. Now, why Muhammad is spoken about what here? Muhammad, he believed and he taught the Quran, the Muslims, that Allah, he sent those missiles, which is the meteor. This is not really a star. This is a bright star, is not, a star, is not uh, uh, fixed in the sky. It is something shoot. And this is why here we see that it's eliminating and it's burn the shaitan. Allah, he shoot, those are shooting stars. Allah, he showed the shaitan with them. So Muhammad is explaining to us in different verse in the Quran that Allah, he protect always his heaven from the shaitan. If the shaitan try to get up to the heaven, Allah, what will do? Allah is going to shoot him with a shooting star, which is the star we are talking about. How we can, how we can prove that? The Quran confirmed that. If we go here, It says, chapter 67, verse number 5, We decorated the lowest heaven with the stars, and we made those stars as, as missiles to drive away the evil one. So look how fiction became science. This is a star war. Allah, he showed the, the shaitan in his ass by a star. I mean, the shaitan, he live in the earth, but how in the world you can shoot a little tiny shaitan who Muhammad said, he sleep in your nose, he piss in your ears. If you open your mouth and you do yawning, shaitan jump inside your mouth, but yet to, to beat the shaitan, to destroy him, Allah have to shoot him by a lamp, by a star. So look how they changed the meaning, which is so stupid, became science and particles and steel and cement. Do those scientists, you quote your, their name, they believe that the lamps which is filling at night, which is a meteor, is a star? Do they believe really that this is what God he do to protect his sky? So he shoot, shoot the shaitan? In different video, those scammers, they will say to you that Allah speak about the Quran, in the Quran about uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the atmosphere. They say the Quran, He said that the, the earth have a protected roof. 
وَجَعَلْنَا السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا And we made the sky protected roof. But what is that a protected roof? This is exactly what we just showed you. Allah, he shoot the shaitan in his ass. So if shaitan try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot him. The Muslim, they make it the opposite. And we have made heavens as canopy, well guarded. The Muslim, they say to you, see, this is the atmosphere. The fact, this is the opposite. It is guarded from shaitan to get out, not things to get in the atmosphere of the earth if we go a different verse we will find the following <clears throat> let us go uh. <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> I'm really <old. coughs> Unbelievable. Let us see. All right. Read with me this verse. Allah is challenging the human being and the genie, which means shaitan, to get out of the earth. Chapter 55, verse number 33. He is saying, O oh, you assembly of jinn and men, if you be can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, pass ye not without my authority. And we showed you the other verse where it says that Allah He made the heaven protected from shaitan so he cannot go through. Through where? Through to heaven. Not through from heaven to earth. He is already in earth. He cannot get out. So if we go here, Where it says, Chapter 67, verse number 5, that is explaining why here it says in the interpretation, hold on, he burned the shaitan with it. Do you see why it says here he burned the shaitan with it? He burned the shaitan with it. Why? Because the verse in the Quran confirmed that, which is in chapter. Uh, 55 verse number 33 let us go and see the meaning chapter uh, 55 verse number 33 suddenly <laughs> this has became cement and <laughs> oh company of jinn and the human you are if you are able to pass through the exit to exit the confines of the region of the heaven and the earth, then pass through. A commandment, challenge them to what they are incapable of doing. You will not pass through except a sanctions, except with some power, and you have no such a power. So the God of Islam is claiming that we as a human, and even the genie, they cannot pass out of the earth. Remember, where does the genie live? The genie he live with the human being, he's in the earth. Where is the human being live? The Muslim they cannot say the Quran saying about protecting the atmosphere from someone from to come out. We are a human mankind. This is was a challenge for the genie and the human that you cannot get out. Why you cannot get out? Because Allah will shoot you with a shooting star. And now we knew that this is additional proof that Islam is a false religion because a human being already, they passed the zone of the earth and they went and they proved Allah to be a false god with his challenge. But what it cannot be imagined, how those people, they change every translation in their book to make it fit with their false fiction science. Unbelievable. It was created from the water ejected that is emerging from between the steel and cement like dust. Imagine we are ejected now, based in this verse, we are ejected from the sky, not from the backbone of the man, no more. And now, in this translation, the steel present the backbone and the cement is the women rips. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I have no idea. I mean, I have no comment. This is a very disgusting behavior. Dishonesty is the method to deceive your children. And this is why we guys, we are saying to you, 
what we do here is extremely important this is not a joke a child of you he is going to watch this and those people as you see they are making it like scientific they quote for you names of of uh, of a scientist they quote for you what is mentioned in books they quote for you things to make you believe that this is very much scientific silicon neon calcium copper chromium carbon oxygen the list goes on and on and this causes the star to expand more and more the last element to be produced by the star the one that sits in the very core of the star is iron which makes the star resist any further compression iron iron so look how they started start talking about iron and then they rest to the end they make it a conclusion that the chapter 86 which is speaking about the backbone of the man and it is about ejaculation from sex suddenly it became a rain coming from the sky this is how amazing the lies of those people i cannot i cannot really believe it how low a human being can go with his deception it's sometimes really scary how you do that how in the world you do such a thing you don't have dignity you don't have honor they are willing to change the mean of their book just to fool us what is the honor of a human being and they accuse everybody that he is a change in the meaning of his book when the fact they are the one who change it and they add words as they wish they take words as they wish what is a stupid suddenly became science do we have any muslim in the chat is willing to call me and prove me wrong or let us say you got me busted maybe i missed something who is the Muslim is willing to say to me in the text, please? I'm going to call you. I want to get you busted. Who want to do that? So they hire those people. They spend a lot of money. You can tell that this is a program cost them a lot of money in order to fool you. The point is how we can fool you. From a book claiming that a human being is it created from a sperm coming from the backbone to a book speaking about created we are Allah saying we are created from cement and steel from a book claiming that a human being and genie cannot go out of the earth because Allah will shoot them in their ass with a shooting star to talk about the person holes or the black holes in the galaxy you see how they change the meaning I want to see why they don't quote for why why those Muslims don't quote for us what is written in their books. Hmm? Why? It's really amazing how lies can come to exist. In a professional video you see if you see the video this video costs a lot of money graphic etc and the one who made the article he is doing his best to fool you but they forgot what we can go right now and we can check out what they are saying and we will find that this is absolutely stupid this is absolutely stupid Look here, she is quoting different verse. Let me see this verse. I did not see this one yet. There's something is coming. Sent water down from the heaven to make fruits of various colors, mountains of various colors, like white, red, and intense black mountains, and also to make the various colors of people, moving creatures, and grazing livestock. Oh, hold on. Guys, hold on. This is something very interesting. Let me make a snapshot of this translation so you can see it better. Hold on. I'm telling you, things are getting more interesting. Let me wait for you here so you can see it better. Chapter 35, verse 27 to 28. Have you not seen that God has sent water down from heaven to make a fruits of various color, mountain of various color, like white, red, and instant black? mountain and also to make the various color of people 
moving creatures and grazing livestock. If, 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 if. Let us see. Let us see what she will say, and then I will make my comment. I, I made it clear for you. I zoomed in so you guys you can see it. Let us continue. Hold on. In 2004, NASA sent a spacecraft called Stardust on a mission to collect cosmic dust samples from a comet to be brought back to Earth for analysis. Andrew Westphal, a planetary scientist and the study lead of this mission, said, By analyzing interstellar dust, we can understand our own origins. Mr. Westphal was right. The analysis of the cosmic dust collected yielded some informative and sometimes puzzling results about the physical characteristics of stardust, other than the fact that it is similar. Okay, we got it. So now we are, according to her, this verse is speaking about us are coming from stardust. We are what? We are stardust. Please take a note. Let us investigate what she just said. Chapter 35, verse number 27, 28. Let us go there. All right. 35. I like this. And we will go to verse number 27 and verse number 28, as she required, as she, as she said. And as you see, guys, we are showing you what the Muslims believe. This is not my words. This is not my interpretation. I am just, I, I just saw it, actually. I did not even read here what it says, you know. I'm going to see because sometimes the translation can be false. But let us go. All right. Perfect power of Allah. The perfect power of Allah. Okay. Allah explained to us how he make different kind of a creation. Different things from one thing, which is the water. All is created from water. Okay. Let us, let us prove that this is a stupid statement. You see, there's many things in this earth is not created from water. And even things which is alive, including, as an example, bacteria. Bacteria have zero water. This is why if you freeze them for 10,000 years, still they will not die. The only thing can kill bacteria is heat. Why we cannot kill them by freezing ice? Because simply they have no water inside, which means they will, their, their cells will not exp the, explode it because the water will, will increase the size inside them. And that will this is what happened to you if you are a human. And if you, you as a human, you go in the in the mountains and you, let us say you fail somewhere in the icy place, a high mountain, and you spend the night there, then you will see that you have to suffer from maybe cutting, losing your feet or losing your hand because the ice will make the cells of your body expel, destroy. That's it. They explode. So here Allah is explaining to us how our color is exist. Our color is exist because of the rain why we are because here is speaking not only about uh, about mountains and Allah explained that the rain is the one given the water is given the various color the yellow and the green and the white and other colors and for sure this is stupid to say because water is colorless water has no color you have to add something to it to make a color exist all right now if we continue here and the earth <coughs> are neighboring tracks and the garden, Venus, and green and grubs, and palm tree, and etc., etc. All what the Quran here saying. وَمِنَ الْجِبَالِ جُدُدٌ بِيدٌ وَحُمْرٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهَا And from the mountains are many kind of colors, white and red. And Muhammad now he's explained why those mountains, they have different color. Let us see why. All right, why? Ibn Abbas said, this is mean. Pathways, this is was also a view of Abu Malik. And he said, there are some mountains are very black. Ikrama said, mean mountains which are high black. Muslims are confused if this is even about color or about high mountain. There was also the view of Abu Malik. They say, when, Ibn, uh, when Arabs describe something as being very black, they say, Garib, uh, uh, Garbib. And likewise, a man moving a creature and cattle have various color. So all of us, we are having this color because of the rain. And the human and the animals and the, all the creatures walk in their feet. All of them, they have colors. And then they say, these are all different too. 
For among mankind there is our Berbers, Ethiopian, and some are not non-Arab, who they are very black, and the slaves and Romans, who they are very white, and the Arabs who are between, are and the Indian. Allah says in other ayah, and we did, we made different languages. So now he, he jumped to uh, to talk about uh, uh, about something else. So look how they change and look how they make what the scientist is the scientist talking about have nothing to do with anything of what is written here. They try to make that's uh, you know uh, uh, the space we have many things in the ground and the earth is the origin of from the space. What well, this is very normal because we are inside the space. This is what the scientist says. We are you see. We, are we inside the space or we are out of the space? We are inside the space. So what is the new? What is the strange here? We are a dust in the space. So everything we have in this earth is coming obviously from one origin. And that is the creation. Who, who, we as a Christian, we believe the creator. So everything we have is from the space for we are inside the space. We are not from out the space. Only stupid people will believe that we are out. And this is what Islam believe, that the earth is not in the space. This is why the Quran in different verse says that Allah, he, uh, he, he, uh, he separated between the earth and the heaven. And the Muslim, they use this verse to speak about the Big Bang, which is false. And we can debunk that very easy. It says, أَوَلَمْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَوَاتَ وَالْأَرْضَ كَنَتَا رِتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا Let us see the translation. Don't see those who don't believe the kuffar that the, the heaven and the earth they used to be one united st stitches together. They, you know, uh, rutqan mean, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, like you know, we stitch them together and we we separate them. Don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together as a unit of a creation before we clove them asunder? So the Muslims are the only religion believe that we are separated from the sky when in fact we are not because here when you are saying we sp we separated them that's mean we are not inside the, the, the sky no more but we are in the space you see you can be separated you can be separated if you are not inside the space how we can be se imagine you have a you, you have a uh, uh, you have a baby in your in your in your womb and you are a, a woman she is pregnant and then you say that my son is separated from me. He's not. He's inside you. It doesn't matter if he is covered by the womb or not. It doesn't matter if there's a liquid around him or not. He is inside you and we are inside and we are not even a dust compared to the space. So how the Quran says we spread, that will be explained in different verses in the Quran. To see the stupidity of the Quran, you see the Quran is a chain of stupidity. You have to go, you have to check it all out. It's not like one place and you in and you stop. You have to see uh, uh, what is between the words. If we go, if we go, uh, let us see a uh, uh, different place. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Okay. How the sky is lifted up from the earth? As long as we are talking about this, let's cover this one too. The Muslims, the same people, by the way, they make a video. They have a video. And they say that the Quran confirmed that Allah created the sky or he lift up the sky and he did not have a column this is science but this is what not what the verse says in chapter 13 verse number two it says the following and the muslims always they cut the part of the translation read with me carefully it is he who raised the heaven without any pillars that you can see the muslim they cut this part where it says you can see because now the quran confirming that there is pillars but you cannot see If we go to chapter Qa, chapter Qa, let us go and see that. 
just to show you the madness of Muslims when they understand their religion chapter 50 verse number one what is Qa? Qa wal Quran al Majid Qa is a mountain surrounding the earth from his narration in the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, what is Qaf? Qaf simply is the letter Qa, but when we read it alone, we read it as a word, Qaf, but it is a letter. But supposedly, according to the Muslims, it is a mountain, and this mountain is strong in the earth. Qaf, he says, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the skies take from it. So based on Islam and the Quran, Qaf, it's a mountain which is the wall around the earth so we are a flat earth as we showed you in many verses in the quran actually the verse after this one if we go <coughs> uh, if you go here uh, you will see here the verse saying that allah he made the earth flat here they are saying in the translation he spread it out that's false it doesn't say that it says he made it flat. Let us go and change the translation. Just change the translation and you will see how right away the meaning will, will change. Here spread out earth. This is not a true. Let us see different translation. We will try them all to see maybe we can get the right one. He spread out the earth. Is that a true? Let us get them busted. So we will go to chapter 13 verse number 3 and verse number 2 let us do that this is verse number 2 read carefully with me please God he is the one who raised the heaven without visible support Amdun, or, or uh, it is a pillar of the mid which same as istawana or a column this statement is a true since there is no actual support then praised upon the throne praising befitting him uh, and disposed made supervent the sun and the moon each one of them moving along now what we understand from this here you will see in the translation here they are saying to you this is a true that there is no pillars that we can see any pillars there to support it if we change the, tri the interpretation we will find the following Allah who raised up the heaven he created the heaven and raised them up above the earth which without a visible support he says you see them without support and it's also said this is mean they have support which you do not see all right let us see if this is how how far we will go then we will go to the verse number two the verse number three and we will we will find here the muslim they are saying to us that allah he spread out the earth but what spread out the earth mean change the translation you will find that the earth here became a flat just change the translation it is he who spread out the extended flat extended flat the earth so the earth is a flat so the earth is a flat Allah he left up the heaven in the top of the flat earth and he made a mountain in the top of the earth which is a fence carrying the earth this is the azure mountain we are talking about so to make it simple let me make a drawing based on the Quran and the teaching of Muhammad and his fiction The earth is a flat. In the top of the earth, there is a mountain which is a blue. From all the side, it's like a fence. And then Allah, he plays the sky in the top of it. You can make the sky as you wish you can make it like this it doesn't matter really however the sky is carried by the mountain which is called Qaf 
which is a mountain surrounding the whole earth. And this is why, according to the Muslims, the mountain look blue. Why it's blue? Because simply, this is a mountain which is made from a blue rocks. So the sky reflect its light from that mountain, which we cannot see. And why we cannot see this mountain? Because simply we think it's a sky, because it's a blue. The sky and the mountain, both of them, they are from the same color. Are you getting my point? Are we getting my point? The mountains are blue. The sky are blue. This is why the Quran is saying that Allah, he raised up the sky without any pillars that you can see. Why we cannot see? Because we, when we look, we think that this sky is a blue. It's the same color of the blue mountain, which we cannot see because we think it's a sky. Read carefully with me, please. In case my idea is not clear to you yet. This mountain is surrounding the whole earth, overlooking this world. And it says here, and this is what is very important, and the color of the sky takes from it. But remember in the video, they said to us that the color of the mountains is coming from the rain, which is coming from out space. When the fact, the Muslim believe in the opposite, that the sky itself is taking color from what is in the ground. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, is, it, is it more clear for you now? It is the opposite. It is totally the opposite. And look how they switch the stupidity to be a science. Isn't it amazing? You see, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this interpretation here is a stupid interpretation. We can show you a different one. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. All right? Let us see Ibn Kathir, chapter 50, verse number 1. Verse, uh, sorry, chapter 50, uh, uh, verse number 3. Uh, we can go verse number 3. We can, ver And we can go, we will go to the other one too here, the, the uh, 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 Qaf. Chapter 50, verse number 1. Let us do one by one. Let us go to 50. Verse number 1. Oh, this is the uh, translation. Let us go to interpretation. <coughs> You see, always we are not showing you our understanding. Nothing here is involving my understanding. So don't tell me, oh, this is, you got it wrong. Those are the scars of the Muslims who Muslims learn Islam from them. And we can show you even Muhammad's statement himself about this. All right. Qaf. What is Qaf? Let us see what is Qaf. This is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is counting for us a bunch of letters in the Quran. The Muslims are very confused about them. And this is the list of them. Then he says, let us see what Qaf mean. By the glorious Quran, means by the honorable Quran. Okay, but what, what Qaf mean? No answer. You see here, he did not say to us, what is Qaf? Until now, there is no answer. Let us see what, maybe, maybe he will bring us more. Uh, no, until now, no, nothing, 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 nothing. So here Ibn Kathir, he did not give us one statement about what Qaf is about. Why? Because he said to you in the beginning, Allah knows best what he mean. I don't know, we do not know. We do not know what that mean. This, this is why he left it empty. Qaf and Saad and Noon and Alif, Lam, Mim, Ha, Mim, Ta, Sa, Kahi, As, many of them, we do not know what they mean. Leave it, leave it, just leave it alone. Now, if we go to the to the verse, they themselves, they quote for us. Chapter 20, chapter 35, verse number 27. Twenty-seven and twenty-eight. Go. All right. Thirty-five. 
actually we did read that already right so there's no need to 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 repeat that however there is a hadith muhammad he mentioned how the color of things come to the to, to exist muhammad he said that a human being is created from uh, the color of a human being created by simply allah he hit the shoulder of adam the right shoulder he hit him in the right shoulder and this is how he created the white man and he hit adam in the left shoulder and he created him as a black the, the 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 left and the right in islam always present the good and the bad so muhammad is saying and this is not my belief for sure that according to islam you are bad if you are created from the left shoulder and this is why you are black and you are good because you are white because you are created from the right shoulder and remember this is not our belief this is stupid for all of us nobody is better than anyone by his color and this is why believing of having one father in christianity is the best way to fight any kind of racism the muslim they believe in adam too but as you see being from one father is not a solution for racism in Islam because from the first man Allah created the bad man from the left shoulder. So if we go and try uh, to find the hadith in English, let me see. Let us see. And for sure, the Muslim they will try to get away from from this, you know, by by saying we don't believe in this, we don't accept this. But who cares you accept or not? Uh, who cares really if you accept or not? This is the truth. Uh, let me use this translation here because I cannot find any in uh, uh, in English except maybe if we find in the future we can do that. Uh, this is a question sent by a Muslim for the Muslim and the Muslim tried to get away with this. But, but this is what their prophet he said. Allah Messenger said. Allah Messenger said. Who is talking? Allah Messenger. And as you see, this is the hadith number. This is the reference. This is the book. And the weird is, we cannot find it in the English translation in the Muslim website. So if you read with me here carefully, you will find the following. That Muhammad, he said, that when Allah, he created mankind, he created Adam. And then he, from Adam, he created his offspring. How he created the offspring? He struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it the white offspring. As if they were white ants. And then he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring. As if they are, they were charcoal. Then said, those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise. And I don't mind. And then he said, and those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, they are to hell. And I don't mind. And this is the statement of Muhammad himself. So based in the, in the, in, in the, in the belief of Islam, Allah created white and black not because there is different water but because Allah he hit the shoulder of Adam and based in which shoulder he hit the offspring come out with the color he wanted the color for the bad ones according to Muhammad and his madness is the black ones and the color of the good ones who will go to heaven because as you see he is deciding who is going to go to hell who is going to go to heaven confirming this that people who they are black according to Islam will go to hell we can find that in chapter 27 verse number 82 if we go in the Quran we will find the following actually I'm going to use Ibn Kathir for easier understanding and faster analyzing same time we are just reading what the Muslims believe not what I believe 
So the Muslim, they will not say to me, you are making things up and this is your interpretation. According to chapter 27, verse number 82, Allah will, shame, will, will send the beast from the ground and this beast is called a jassasa. This beast is going to carry the stick of Moses or the, the, the staff of Moses and is going to carry the ring of Solomon. It's going to hit the person in his face and is going to make him either white or black. Let us go fast to the topic so we don't waste time looking for the proof. All right, here we go. <clears throat> he says here, read carefully, this is not my statement, this is all coming from Muhammad. This, this, uh, 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 this beast here is described, as you see, have uh, many look, many funny look. Uh, it's horn like the horn of a stag. Uh, the neck is a neck of an ostrich. The chest is the chest of a lion. The car is the car of the tiger. Its hinges like the hinges of a cat. It is tail like the tail of a ram. Its legs like the legs of a camel. Now, between each of those joint distance of 12 cubits is a huge beast. It will bring forth with it <clears throat> the staff of Moses and the ring of cinnamon. So now he have this beast, he have the powerful Hori Putar broom. He have the broom of Musa and he have the Lord of the Ring ring. So he got both. There will be no believer without making a white spot in his face. How he would do that? He will hit you with one of the magical tools he have, which is the broom and the ring, which will be spread until his face is shiny white as a result. So he hit you in your head and start at a small little tiny spot and then is going to extend, 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 and then as a result, you will be totally white. And then he will hit the disbeliever and he will make a small spot in his face which will spread until his face is black which means totally black as a result that is the teaching of islam allah in the judgment day he will make all good ones good white for white are the good ones according to muhammad and islam here proven to us again the racism of this cult which is containing fictions and lies about a beast will come with the ring and will staff and will hit people in their faces and read with me it will strike the nose of the believer he will hit you in your nose with the ring the ring of who the ring of Suleiman and will make the face of the believer bright with the staff so what what uh, what the ring of Suleiman is the bad ring if there if uh, if uh, if this beast hit you with the ring that's mean you are doomed that's mean you are going to go to hell and that mean as a result that you are going to be black now here the muslims are confused some stories they say he will hit you he will hit you uh, 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 you know with the ring and make you buy but here in, he, in here in this interpretation uh, because sometimes the story is a change they say it is the ring who will make you white and it is the uh, staff will make you black but most of the Muslims agree that it is the staff of Moses will make you white and here look in the translation here they try to cover it they say it will make you bright it doesn't say bright really it, it says this is a statement in the Quran the Quran says this is a chapter 27 verse number 82 this is how stupid this cult is and how racist is it's mixing between Hori Buter, the Lord of the Ring the flying uh, uh, you know uh, uh, broom and now Allah is going to make you in the judgment day and not only that actually Allah he will put in the anus of everyone uh, uh, in his buttocks he will meet he will put a flag he will put a flag so which is very funny I mean if you made them already white and black all the believers are white all the disbelievers are black why you are going to put a flag in their buttocks 
And the purpose of this flag is to recognize who is a believer, who is not a believer. How stupid that is, you tell me. If there is any Muslim here, he don't agree, or he believe we are lying, give me a reason to believe to, be, to believe we are lying. I'm showing you what your, what your scholars are saying. This is not my statement. Can you really be a Muslim and say Christian prince is lying? Everything I am showing to you is just coming from your own books, from your own scholars. I'm just reading. I'm just reading. Nothing coming from my head. Yes, the Quran confirmed. You see, the buttocks word is involved in many places in Islam. As an example, in the Quran, chapter 69, which is funny to be 69, uh, the Quran says that in the judgment day, the one who Allah he don't like, he will insert in his buttocks, in his anus, you know, I'm trying to, to be polite, but the fact it is in his anus, he will insert a, a huge chain. So imagine here how the Muslims, they, they try to, to change the meaning of a book which is full of stupidity and madness to make it a book of science. I wish, I wish the Muslim can explain to me how this verse is going to be, be practice, practical. In chapter 69, verse number 32, it says, actually, you know what? Let us not to waste time and go to the interpretation. 69, 32. Here we go. Again, remember, this is not my interpretation, this is not my explanation, this is not my belief. This is what the Muslims believe. And this is one of their best scholars. All right. <clears throat> Here it says, Then fasten him on a chain. The length of, the length of it is 70 cubit. However, the cubit here, by the way, is not the cubit of mankind, it's a cubit of Allah. So the distance will be really huge. And how we can prove that, it says the following. Every ring of it, which means the chain, is going to be equal to the entire amount of iron found in the whole world. Imagine we have a chain. It's seven cubit by the distance of Allah measurement. And every ring of it contain what is equal to all the iron in the world, not only in the earth, which means the whole world, everywhere each ring of it and this is will go inside where is going to inside to go inside the anus of the human being do you see it <laughs> we are not making things up this is the madness of islam which the muslim tried to make it as it is science how in the world you muslims you come with this And this chain is going to insert it in the buttocks of the human being and then is going to be pulled out of his mouth. And then Allah will arrange the human being like a loctus, like a barbecue, arranged in a stick. That is being roasted. <laughs> this is science, isn't it? I mean, why the Muslim don't make a science about this? Why didn't talk about it? They don't want to talk about it. If we go in the main website, this website here, and we make a search, full search, hold on, and we search for the word buttocks. You see what I see? Do you see the flag, guys? Do you see it? Do you see it or are making things up? Because one of you says a, a, a flag in the buttocks, like he don't believe. We don't make things up. Do you see it? A flag will be fixed in the buttocks of the believer. This is not my statement. On the judgment, in the day of judgment, there will be a flag fixed behind the buttocks of every person guilty of breach of faith. So according to Islam, Allah will put a flag in my buttocks. 
I will be like the president of North Korea. This is the stupidity of this cult. How you told me, you just told me that Allah will make us black and white so he can recognize who is a believer, who is not. And now you are saying you need another flag. Why the flag for? I mean, can't Allah knows who is guilty without the flag? <laughs> hey, bro, how are you? How, how the flag feel? Oh, man, I cannot walk with it. It's in my buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this is and they and yet they speak about science and you know the scientist Einstein said Newton said the scientist uh, Stephen Hawkins says I mean can you tell the Stephen Hawkins about the flag will go in the anus of a human being can you explain to Stephen Hawkins the chain Allah will insert in the anus of a human being can you please explain to the scientists who speak about biology how Allah is speaking about that a human being have a sperm from the male and the female and the Prophet said whoever comes first the baby will resemble the parents liars liars by the way don't worry we have a flag for everybody you will not be out we Allah have a lot of flags don't, I mean, can you imagine how many flags Allah is preparing right now? How many billions they die and how many billions are still alive? They don't believe in Allah. How many flags he, Allah he need? Where did he buy them from? I, I bet you he, he, he have a contract with the Chinese. This is a religion? My friend, this is what they try to convince you that this is the religion of science. This is Islam. Chain in the anus, flag in the anus. Allah, he enjoyed torturing you. Allah, he put his finger in the vagina of the woman to keep her virgin. But by the way, Muslims, anyone can explain to us how a woman, she will stay virgin. What Allah exactly will do? Is he going to use his finger or the ring of Solomon? Uh, or the, the the staff of Moses science my friend Islam is pure science I don't know how even the Muslims they can come with such a such a lie and how they are I mean changing the translation changing the meaning changing everything changing the interpretation it just to make you believe Islam is a religion of science, which is making us actually uh, helping us to explore that Islam is a false religion. Because you see, if the Muslim did not make those claims, me myself, I will not write my books exposing Islam. Because one of the main reason actually, I wrote my books exposing Islam. It was the Muslims saying to me, as long you are a scholar in Islam, how come you don't have any book written about Islam? So I said, okay, well, let me write my book. So I made the first book, which was The Deception of Allah. And then I want to continue exploring, or let us say exposing their lies about science and, 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 and the Quran. So I started in Deception of Allah, and I finished in the second book, which is Quran and Science, because both of them, they speak about the funny science of Islam. Very amazing and very stupid. And then we start translating my books to other languages, to French, to German, to Dutch, uh, to Swedish. And actually, very soon we will have two of my books published, uh, uh, volume one and volume two, which is both speaking about uh, sex in Islam. There's nobody ever wrote about this topic yet. So my books will be the first of their kind, uh, speaking about sexuality in Islam. So we will... Uh, 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 you know, we will show you the impact of sexuality on this cult, the impact of uh, uh, the reason of this uh, uh, sexuality to, to exist. Same time, we will give you all the reference about what sex in Islam is about, what it is about. Is it just like, you know, uh, because somebody might think, okay, what's sex? Well, I mean, what we, what we need to learn about sex? It's just a guy having sex with a woman or even a man having sex with a man. It is a lot more than this. So in my coming books, you will receive tons. My books always is a, a, a library of reference 
and I will help you to understand the reference in the way I do like in video but let us say in more simple way uh, because you know text if you want to explain too much uh, you you have to make a book made from like a thousand pages at least to explain the stupidity of one statement of Muhammad uh, it's going to be very soon in Amazon for those who like to have it and you can give it as a gift for your friends if you like to support what we do now anyone have a question if there is anyone have a question anyone Uh, those emoji you are saying because people they give it like you know they, when they give people like they it fly in the screen this is why just take it easy it's not the magic Allah is not involved here this is not Jibreel any Abdul do we have any Abdul would like to call me uh, let me be sure that my Skype is on hold on my Skype all right our Skype now is open if you can keep your question about the topic please that will be better you know and we can leave other questions for different time can you show us a verse about faith how can Islam have faith when people have to work for their own salvation by good work and deeds please explain you know we proved many times before that there is no such a thing in Islam that salvation is happening because of your work or even by your faith because as you remember we explained to you uh, that uh, Islam based on uh, or based on uh, destiny let us see destiny is what Islam is about um, and Muhammad he contradicts himself in different hadith I'm not sure why it's not coming. Let us see this website. All right, read with me carefully. Uh, this is a question about how Muslims they earn their salvation. There is no salvation in Islam, and that is very clear in many statements by Muhammad. Let us take this book off. Okay, read carefully with me. Muhammad he said there is none amongst you whose deed alone will attend now here this is the Muslim translation saying his deed alone in Arabic it doesn't say that at all the word alone is not exist so the translation in Arabic from Arabic to English is a fiction is a lie it says there is no one of you whose his deed will attend him salvation not deed alone because adding the word alone will make you believe Oh, he spoke about deeds, but there is something else. In fact, he did not say that. All right. Uh, see here, they added the word alone again. That's false. That's a lie. Let us continue. Uh, here, they added the word alone. Does, doesn't say that in Arabic. You see, in Arabic, doesn't say that. <laughs> Liars. All right. Uh, here they added the word alone again but it doesn't say oh sorry uh, the screen is not showing uh, thank you for telling me hold on all right you see all those we are showing you in Arabic and in English in Arabic it says Muhammad is saying that there is nobody will earn his salvation by his deed 
the Muslim they add to the translation the word alone it doesn't say that in Arabic this is a big fat lie this is the Arabic statement let me show you let me move that to the Arabic all right it doesn't say that you are going to earn salvation uh, 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 you, you will not earn your salvation by deed alone it says not even one of you his uh, salvation is by his work not even one so why they are adding the word alone because that will be a contradiction for many promises in the Quran because the Quran says though those who do believe and those who do the good deed and blah 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 for them gardens but here Muhammad saying the opposite none of you and not only that they say to you to him not even you messenger of Allah he said not even me unless Allah he warped me with his mercy so in the Muslim translation to save themselves from this exposure this contradiction they added the word alone for now that will solve the problem he did not say you will not have your salvation by good work no he said it is not alone it's not enough to be as a reason but however this is not even exist in the Arabic and here you will see a very close accurate translation look let me show you how they get themselves busted I mean the Muslims sometimes they are amazing with their lies read the translation with me it's the same hadith the same exact hadith in Arabic the same sentence read with me carefully where is the word alone do you see it it disappear oh sorry it says alone oh boy I miss it sorry forgive me it says alone but in Arabic I thought I thought finally I got a correct translation but it's a false translation again in Arabic it doesn't say anything about the word alone let us continue try to explore uh, here we go alone again here let us see do we have alone here we have alone too uh, okay here I didn't see the word alone like what happened guys is the word alone exist I don't see it let us see maybe I'm mistaken read with me please carefully finally we found a close to accuracy translation Allah messenger said the deeds of any one of you will not save you where is the word alone what happened to the word alone this is the same hadith this is exactly the same hadith which we showed you many times the Muslim keep repeating alone 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 I will tell you what happened I believe this translation here made by someone else from the other one who is aware of how dangerous to add the word if we don't add the word alone so he added to save the the, the, the contradiction this guy obviously he is not aware that here he have a problem he has his more honest it says the deed of any one of you will not save you from hellfire so what we would do so what is the promise on the Quran says who do the good deeds and those who take shahada and those who believe in Allah they are going to heaven and they have nothing to worry about even the Quran promise the Hadu the, the, the Jews and the Christian and the Sabi and to go to heaven what is that was about it was a lie they said not even you which mean Muhammad you will be saved by your deeds look what Muhammad said by Allah by Allah no I will not be saved unless and enter Allah best was his mercy on me and look what he say in the in the end therefore do good deeds I mean you just told them that your good deeds will not do anything <laughs> you just told them that doing good deed will not do any different you just said that this religion is a collection of his stupidity all right
anyway uh, <clears throat> we better we better stop here and we will leave uh, we will leave the coming topic for uh, tomorrow uh, I know some of you would like to ask me questions uh, but maybe we can do it again tomorrow can you talk about how similar Saint Mary of Egypt uh, the prostitute became a saint and Mary the Copt uh, the patriarch of Jerusalem wrote her story in the 60s actually I'm not really interested of in those stories you see Mary the Copt is just a woman she is a slave she's been forced into slavery so why I want to talk about her too much it's what Muhammad did to her and there's no similarity there's no similarity you know uh, I don't know what what that story contained the one you are asking me about but I don't want to mix things up you know we don't want to mix that it's not even, even important if you want to fight Islam try to fight Islam by their own reference you bring reference from your own they will say to you it's your own this is why I don't use the Bible to prove Islam to be wrong I don't use the Old Testament or the New Testament because why I want to waste my time and say to the Muslim look how stupid your religion is from a book is not even their book don't waste your time and focus in what they believe this is their books this is what they have and this is how you can expose the cult of Islam anything else you are shooting in the air you are just twisting your bullets if we can use the term all right uh, you know uh, uh, you might notice that always my method to debunk Islam I don't use the Bible because it is actually the Muslims this is one of the reasons they don't debate me if I am a person who tried to prove Islam to be wrong by using the Bible they will be all over me because then at the end of the day you said nothing you did nothing all what you did okay you were convincing regarding the Christians but for us we as a Muslim we don't believe in the Bible anyway you know what I mean Uh, the Muslims they like it actually when you try to prove to them that they are wrong using your Bible because simply uh, you did not hurt Islam it doesn't hurt them but when I show them what the Quran says what they will say we don't believe in the Quran when I show them what their prophet said what they will say the prophet was wrong like now we are talking about science and the Muslim lying about science in the Quran or translation if we show them that their prophet he believed that the sun goes and sleep every day under the throne of Allah they cannot say that's this is a false translation this is a Christian belief this is this is their prophet saying that so what the Muslims will do they will try to say to you we don't accept all the hadith however they have no choice but to accept because those are very authentic hadith and same time we can show them what the Quran is saying not only the hadith we have to use both of them to sponsor each other is this hadith is weak no it is sahih this is sahih Muslim Muhammad saying that the Sun let me show you other one hold on And how Muhammad he connect the shaitan to the sun hold on this is Sahih Bukhari which is even more strong than Sahih Muslim all right here Muhammad is explaining how the sun goes every day and explain how the sun set which is very stupid so the Muslim they make for us uh, uh, it, it, a lot of a graphic to explain to us how the sun is made how, how the sun move uh, how the sunset is happening and uh, the they quote for you scientists and they quote for you from NASA but that they, they will not quote for us what their prophet said isn't it weird why the why the Muslims who made those videos don't want to quote for us what Muhammad said in this hadith as an example as long you are talking about the creation of galaxies and the creation of the stars and the origin of things why you don't want to quote for us what your prophet said because what Muhammad said is going to get them busted and it's very embarrassing if you go in the Quran
You will see here a verse says, Let us see. I hope I'm not hurting your eyes. Let me switch the screen so it doesn't hurt you flipping. You know, this website doesn't have an option where you can go directly to the, uh, the, so I have to search for it. It doesn't have an option where you can just choose the verse and go. Uh, I look like this is all over. Hold on, let me change. <coughs> In this verse in the Quran, let us zoom out. Chapter 36, verse number 38. If you go and see how many Muslims, how many videos they made about this verse, saying that this is about that in the one day the, the sun will collapse and the sun uh, will uh, actually, there's a video it says that uh, the earth will re-rotate re you know and they use this statement here and the other hadith of muhammad but just to just to make it like uh, clear what this verse is saying and let us see the translation of the muslims and the sun runs his course for a period determined for him the muslim they use this verse to fool you and they will say that according to science the, the the sun is going to one day is going to be out of a fuel and that's what it says here the fact this is not what it says the fact it says that the sun every day this is about the sunset every day the sun goes from the east to the west and who is the best to explain this verse from muhammad no one he is the one who came with it he is the one who brought it so let us see what he said <coughs> The Prophet asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied to Allah and his apostle know best. He, he, he said, it goes, i.e. travels, till prostrate itself under the throne and take permission to rise again. And here Muhammad did not stop. He continued saying, and this is the explanation. And that is the interpretation of the statement of Allah and the sun runs its fixed course for term decreed that is the decree of Allah and here we go he's quoting for you even chapter 36 verse number 8 that now the number here by the way is not Muhammad saying that Muhammad is quoting the verse all right because I don't believe in the time of Muhammad there was anything to do with numbers that's why you never see Muhammad saying in chapter 36 as an example this is not his statement this is out Muhammad he made the statement of this between two bracket and that exactly chapter 36 verse number 38 so he is explaining to us what he meant by the sun run in its course muhammad he believed and his god and remember the one is talking here in the quran supposedly is allah not muhammad because muhammad he claim every word he say is coming from allah this is how stupid this religion is Now somebody he keeps saying uh, being atheist is the best. I mean, you know, yeah, being atheist is the best. Why not? You know, being an atheist is uh, is like you know a person trying to prove to me that he is an animal. Uh, happy for you. You know, you want to spend the whole day try to convince me that you are an animal, my friend. I don't want to debate you. You won. You are an animal. Are you happy now? Are you happy? I hope you are satisfied. You won the debate, Mister Atheist. You know, the funny uh, between atheism and Islam is the same, but they are opposite direction. The atheists, they want to prove to you that you used to be a rabbit one day and then became a human being. The Muslim, they be, uh, prove to you that you used to be a human being and then became a rabbit or a monkey or a lizard. This is what they believe. So why I want to debate even an atheist who believe that he is? Okay, go. Don't 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 stay here. As long you are not the person who want to learn, why you are here if you don't want to learn? I mean, look how stupid this is statement. No wonder you're an atheist. 
I don't like to learn about any religion. So why you are here? Go and watch some uh, cartoon. <laughs> you know, that's why I don't debate with atheists, because they are funny and they have nothing to debate about. What they will debate me about? Everything they have is a theory. The Big Bang, it's a theory. It's not a fact. It doesn't matter what they say to you. It's a, it, is, it is a theory. The same scientists who call themselves scientists, they are the same one who used to preach that the earth is a flat one day. And then the scientists, they got themselves wrong. They said, no, we are being stupid, so let us change it. So science is not really a fact unless it is a proven. And nothing of what they try to preach to us is about science. It's about fiction and theories. There's many theories of creation. Atheists, they can... Even even the atheists they don't agree about one theory. Everyone he have his own theory. Uh, and one of the funny things I don't want to change topic, but one of the funny things about the atheist, they believe in what is called that we, we used to be something and we became something else. You see, I don't mind to believe that a human being can adopt, or even an animal can adopt a situation. That's not not nothing wrong with it. As an example, people who live. Uh, in mountains area, they have a big, uh, bigger lungs because they need to breathe more air <coughs> for their, they have less oxygen in the mountains. So it makes sense, but they are not going to be, they, they were not monkeys and became human. This is why we still have monkeys. Otherwise, all the monkeys by now should be human or all monkeys by now should be something else. Why we still have monkeys? Can an atheist explain to me why why the women she have a vagina and the man have a penis and they are fit perfectly? If you are a person who believe that a human being design or the body of a, of a creature design itself or redesign itself, this is what evolution means according to the atheist. Redesign itself, okay? How a man, how a creature, he decide for himself that I'm going to create for myself a penis in the shape of etc. and a vagina fit for that etc. And when we insert that etc. in that etc. we are going need we need to create an egg and we need to create a womb and we need to create a balls and we need to create all those things to make one thing happen when there is no need for it because already you are recreation yourself because remember the evolution says that we are or those things happen because of the needs but you are already surviving because they say it took millions of years for those things to happen. So if the needs of surviving or let us say reproduce, what will make the penis happen or exist? Well, we do not need it because they are surviving for millions of years and they are producing, reproducing. Guys, are you listening? What is the reason for this little tiny cell to create for itself a penis if it is the re reproduction she do not need it because already this little sign tiny cell whatever you call it it's already have a production reproduction this is why it can survive for millions of years as they claim so what is the reason for the penis and the vagina and how a human being can redesign himself to make himself penis and vagina and male and female and they have to be fit perfectly if you think about only the sexual relationship between men and women, it's amazing. Because not only they are creating, okay, how you explain to me the pleasure? You can't explain that. How the cell decide to see, how the cell even know that she can see. We have a little cell and the cell have, a, uh, it's a liquid and it's a life. How a life will let, let that go? How the cell is going to decide to make an eye for itself? How it knows even that there's a light. It doesn't make sense. They always come with the stupidity and they try to prove to themselves that they are smart. Anyway, I believe that the atheist, they need little help. And I hope, I pray that one day you will wake up and you will find that your theory is true and you'll find yourself as a monkey. Okay, you know, can you prove it to us? Prove it to us, we will see. Uh, everything the atheists they believe in is just a stupid theory. It's the same as Islam. The, the difference between them, 
as I said, Muslim, they want to prove to us that we used to be monkeys and then became a human. Not all of us, some of us, all the monkeys coming from, or monkeys coming from a human, rats coming from a human, lizards are coming from a human. Why? Because Allah, he cursed them. The atheists, they go in different direction. And actually, atheism, I find it very racist because if you do not know, Darwin, the filthy man, he decided to practice his theory in a black African man to prove that African are coming from monkeys. So Darwin don't believe really in the origin of a human being is coming from monkeys. He believed that black people are coming from monkeys. This is how filthy he is. This is an insult for humanity. This is a, this is a very pure racism, ugly and disgusting. I'm not attacking atheism. I'm, I'm, I'm not attacking atheism. I'm just explaining how stupid it is. <laughs> I'm happy for you to believe that you're a monkey. And you know, the only argument most uh, atheists they have against us for not being believing in their theories, they say to you, do you like banana? You say yes. They say, see, you used to be a monkey before. <laughs> no, no, evolution, the way the atheists they believe in is stupid. Is, is not exist. Evolution is exist, but not the way the atheists they believe in. God, he gave you ability to survive. That is not a question. This is why you yourself adopt when you are in a cold area, your body behave differently. This is why you sweat when you are hot. But when you are cold, you don't sweat. Why? Because you have a design system giving you the ability to adopt a change around you. Hair in the body of the human being is exist for a reason, to give you protection. If that reason is not exist, you will lose your hair because now you are wearing clothes. You do not need the hair. This is why you see animals, they have hair, but we don't have it. They have a lot of hair. We call it fur. So creation of God are created in a certain way so they can survive. But to, be, to say to me, I used to be fish and then I became a dish, that is a stupid. And if somebody says to me, how come the fish have a heart and you have a heart? That is a proof that we are right and you are wrong because that means they have one designer. Are you listening? How we knew that this artist is the same artist who drew that paint? Because he have a fingerprint in it, which means he have his method. He have the same way of painting. So everything you see around you contain the fingerprint of God, which is proving that it's coming from one designer, not from many. Not from excellence. Whatever people they want to say, whatever you want to believe, this is your business. Right. Uh, as an example, this person in the text who believe he's an atheist, can you tell us what you used to be? Let us see the answer, guys. This woman, her name is Lewis, whatever her name. Can you tell us what you used to be to use to be before? What you used to be before, according to your belief? Give me options. What you used to be? They have no answer. They spent billions of dollars to create a machine supposedly is going to generate the Big Bang. And they told the world in the year 2000, we will do it. In the year, okay, we will delay. Year 2005, we will do it. We will delay. Do year 2012, we will do it. And they delay. Year 2016, we will do it. And nothing happened because they found that it was a stupid idea to create that machine and they could not create anything. You've never been a Christian. You are just born from a Christian family. That would not make you Christian. Don't be, you know, don't fool yourself. Call me, call me, and I will show you you've never been Christian. You don't even know how to pray. You don't even know how to find me a verse in the Bible. So don't fool yourself and say, I was a Christian. Never. Uh, 
anyway let us not to waste our time with this uh, person you know uh, uh, we are happy for you that you are an atheist be happy and eat uh, eat banana enjoy your life go to the zoo you will find all your family there there's mr chimpanzee there's mr monkey there's mr gorilla i mean the whole family the grandfather the cousins everybody is there just go to the zoo i don't know what i can do to you i don't know how i can help you can i if there is something supposed I need to do go check on them see how you're doing look at them and figure it out how you used to be like this and how you became like that I mean maybe you can find more reference and more proof and maybe they can share some secret with you because you both came in from our roots I'm sure you can communicate right I don't know what to say I agree with you actually you look like a monkey you're right you are an atheist who used to be a monkey. I, I, I got it. Okay, I, I have no complaint. What do you want? You want the debate. All right. Look, this guy here, this monkey is doing Zumba. What do you want more proof that he is a human or he, he is he is in the method or in the process to be a human? Otherwise, you tell me why he is doing Zumba. There is no explanation. How you can explain to me that a human being like banana and monkey like banana? You can't explain that to me except we have one roots. It's clear. I mean, it's clear like the sun. All right? Yeah. And look, the monkey have ears. You have ears. The monkey have fingers. You have fingers. The monkey have a, a, a private part. You have a private part. So, you know, must be a monkey. <clears throat> it's very clear. It's very clear. We cannot debate with an atheist because atheists always are right. All right. Yeah. And you know the funny the, the the atheist. Look at this guy. This guy look exactly as an atheist. I don't know why. I mean, look at this. Oh boy. What he was thinking about, what he is thinking about. And look at the color of the eyes. I mean, you are an atheist, but why we don't have the same colors of the eyes no more? What happened? Why animals they have different eyes? If you are coming from there, I mean, okay, here we go. He's almost half a human, huh? Why his eyes look like that? What the heck is that? But you know, I have to confess. Once I, I was, I was, uh, I went, I entered a swimming pool, and the guy, the guard, the security guard, he said to me, "Sir, you cannot swim with your clothes." I said, "What clothes?" He said, "Your clothes." I said, "I'm not wearing my clothes. This is my fur." We Middle Eastern are very hairy, so is that the only proof you have? <laughs> I know what to say. No comment. No comment. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, they know. They know better. Anyway, let us focus in the cult of Islam and atheist. Atheism is a history. You know, there is a good news actually. I'm so happy for what happened in North Korea. And the reason I say I'm very happy for North Korea, one of the things is going to happen in North Korea right now, that the whole country of North Korea is going to come to Christ. That is wonderful news. Few months ago, we were worried about war might happen, and this idiot Kim Jong Bing Bong Bing, he might do something crazy. Finally, the pressure Trump he did it work. He surrendered him from every direction. The country is going to face a bad destiny in few years if this guy did not find a solution. Not because he's good, he have to do what he need to survive to stay as a president. Not because he cared for his nation. So North Korea is going to come in, to be the coming in new Christian country. For those who do not know, North Korea is no different from South Korea. Both of them, they used to have zero Christians. And now Christianity in South Korea is more than 90 to 95% of population. And that is exactly what will happen in North Korea. I assure you, that the second they open the doors for Christians to come to North Korea, tens of thousands of North Korean, they are going to accept Christ in the first year. In a few years, I will not be surprised if the prime minister and ministers and the whole government of North Korea, they accept Christ. You atheists are losing the ground everywhere. Your atheism brought nothing but disaster to the earth, the same as Islam. Whatever atheism take over, human right die. 
They claim that they defend the human right. I never find them defend any human right. When Obama was in charge, he went to the king of Saudi Arabia and he bowed down to him. He never questioned his rules. He never questioned why they kill anyone who don't agree with them just by the opinion. He never questioned why they cut hands and feet. He was a very liberal. This is how they are. However, liberals are not the only hypocrite people, even those who claim to be not liberal. Because the, the Messiah, he said, you know them from their fruits, not from what they say. The Foreign Department, the Ministry of the Foreign Department of USA, put Saudi Arabia of the list of countries who they are in violation, big deal with the human right. But yet we have an embassy there. But yet we sell them weapon. But yet we have no problem with it. Yet we accept their money. Yet we protect them. Yet they are hypocrites. My friend, the truth cannot be hiding. Atheism is dangerous because atheists will make you believe that you are an animal. You are not even part of a society. An animal mentality means that I believe in myself and the rest are not important. When an atheist he speak about what they call it morality, it is something they took from us as a Christians, not something they have. As an example, if we ask an atheist, do you have sex with your sister? Most likely he will say no. The question why? If you believe you're an animal and your sister is an animal, what sister mean? In the kingdom of animals, there is nothing it's called sister and mother. Is that correct? So where do you get the value that you should not have sex with your own sister or your own mother? So inside them, they have, they have inside them, they try to hide it. They have that value which is coming from God. This is not a value coming from atheism. This is a value coming from you as a human created by God and he put inside you a guilt. You feel a guilt when you do something wrong. You try to deny it. You try to say, I don't know. I don't believe in God. That's false. Inside you, God, he left his fingerprint and you practice that. This is why you might see an atheist is making donation. Have you ever heard of an animal making donation to an animal? Have you ever heard of a monkey giving his banana to other monkey? They fight over it. They die over it. Animals, they kill each other to death. They fight to death over a female. Anyway, I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. We will have another broadcast. Uh, we don't have many people here, but I don't care really. Uh, I used to have a lot more in YouTube, but who cares? I will do what I need to do. The one who like to follow me is welcome. The one who don't want, it's up to him. Feel free to download my videos, cut them pieces, share them with your friends, and I will be happy to see that you are doing this because this is how you help to spread the truth and the truth will set you free. I'm very thankful for having you guys here and may the Lord bless you and I wish you a great evening for tonight and a great weekend. Christ is Lord and Islam is a very false cult religion the same as atheism is a cult religion people who believe in God or you don't believe in God you are the same because if you believe in God and this God is about hate and killing is the same as an atheist who kill thousands of people like Stalin just because they don't agree with him is the same as an atheist who decide who is going to have babies and who cannot have babies as they do in China is the same as Kim Jong who kill his own brother because he is a person who lost his dignity and he don't believe that a human being should not be killed. He believed that we are animals and we are struggling over surviving. That is how dangerous to be an atheist. Because then you will not believe that a human being should not be killed, should not be tortured. Animals, they do that to each other. And actually killing a human killing each other is kind of an actions animals do but it is rejected condemned by God for that what not supposed to be between a human they do and they kill 
And this is why the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their look, not from their names. Some people, they might look like a human, but they don't act like one. And maybe the atheists, they will enjoy that statement. From their fruits, we shall know you. And with this, I want to say, uh, 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 Darius, uh, uh, tomorrow I will have uh, I will have uh, I will speak about many topics so you can call me so let us finish with today you can call me tomorrow my friend and I will be happy to take your call all right I apologize uh, my throat is hurting I'm losing my voice so tomorrow we will be here around 4 30 please tell your friends and join us and uh, share the video with your friends Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again. Bye-bye.